What's going on guys, Asian Guy here bringing you another episode of Genshin Monday and today we're going to be talking about the Eula banner as well as her weapons banner and on top of that I'm going to be showing you guys a sneak preview of my 20,000 fit for a king Serena teapot. So the very first thing very quickly that I want to talk about is the Eula banner. We've got Sing Chu on here, very very good 4 star character, one of the best if not the best 4 star character alongside Bennett. We've got Jin Yan who's really good for physical damage support as well as the shield and then we also have Beidou as well with constellations on her it will allow you to have a shield when she ults and if you have Beidou's ult and you have Eula together you can very easily super conduct Eula is going to be a physical damage carry and of course this is something I will always preach if you're gonna ask whether or not you should pull for a character the answer is always going to be no if you have to ask that just simply means the character is not strong enough to break that barrier that mental barrier you have of oh is this character really going to define my meta of the game if the answer is doubt then the answer is no you don't pull for the character because it's not painstakingly obvious that they're broken to you for example like Ganyu or Zhongli or Venti now Ganyu, Zhongli and Venti all three of these characters have extremely high support capabilities while also being able to do damage in Ganyu's case a lot of damage in Zhongli case and Venti's case a lot of crowd control these three characters are essentially irreplaceable whereas DPS characters in the future as we progress in the game all their purpose really is is to hit big numbers and go unga bunga you know as long as they can hit big numbers it doesn't matter who the dps character is elements doesn't matter at all we've seen people like xiao we've seen people like hu tao we've seen people like ganyu all of these characters even without reactions can hit absurd numbers and i think eula is going to be the exact same thing but with physical damage so it doesn't matter who your dps character is you should always pick a dps character that you enjoy the kid off you like the aesthetics you like the character itself these are the main things as long as you invest into the character with the correct artifacts, the correct weapons, they're going to do enough damage, guys. It's the same thing for four stars or five stars. As long as you have good artifacts, they are going to do damage and that's all you need. The main thing you need to be looking out for if you want to be a meta slave, quote unquote meta slave, and be playing to the meta and maximum efficiency are the support characters, namely Zhongli. Zhongli right now is the meta. Every single team improves if you have Zhongli in it. It gives you crowd control and more damage and an unbreakable shield. So Zhongli is essentially, if you're going by the meta, the strongest or the most efficient character to have in the game right now. Venti is a close second or third and Ganyu is a close second and third as well. But Eula, very good character. I'm sure she's going to do insane damage. But of course, as always, you don't need a massive one hit that can do like 5 million damage. There's no enemy in the game that has 5 million HP. So all of that kind of shenanigans, you'll always find people who will try and persuade you and be like, oh, this character can vaporize for 2 million damage. There's no enemy that has 2 million HP in the game, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter as long as you're able to clear the content, which every single character that is designed to be a DPS can do right now with the correct investment. Sorry, it into a little bit of a rant but i received so many questions like should i pull for this character should i pull for this character it's a game guys pull for the character that's gonna have the most enjoyment for you if the most enjoyment for you is to do damage then build your characters if you have to ask because you're not doing enough damage it's because you haven't built your characters or invested into them properly rant over let's move on into the epitome invocation this weapons banner I'd give it like a 6.5 out of 10. The Claymore is really, really good. It's best in stock for physical damage carries. However, it's kind of similar to the Wolf's Gravestone. It's going to give you an insane amount of attack. This gives you a tiny bit of physical damage bonus in like the 20%. It has the highest base attack in the game, but that doesn't matter right now because there's no Claymore character that scales up base attack right now, and the Wolf's Gravestone will give you an insane amount of attack as well. The Quila Favonia is a solid weapon, although I would say it's probably in the lower half of the weapons now. It's been out since the beginning. I don't think that it has improved that much with time. It's a physical damage weapon, and of course... Physical damage sword carries right now. You've got Kaching, you've got Kaya. They're not amazing DPS characters compared to like, for example, Shao, Ganyu, or Hu Tao, but they can still hold up their own. So if you want physical damage, then this weapons banner is great for you. The four stars on here really dragged down by Dragon's Pain and Pain Sasha. Both of these weapons, if you pull them, it's a huge L. Sacrificial Sword, you do want constellations on. Sacrificial Fragments, not many characters use them, but it's a decent weapon. And then you've got Rust as well. 
for the Tartalia users who don't have Skyward Harp. Skyward Harp Refinement 0, by the way, is better than Rust Refinement 5 for the overall DPS of Tartalia or Child, so do keep that one in mind. Let me tell you what, though, it's definitely better than this Weapons Banner. This Weapons Banner is a big, big, big stinky, so do not pull on this Weapons Banner. And again, for Eula and her supports here, you do want constellations on these characters. That's why they're support characters on this Eula banner. All of them benefit from having their constellations to pair up with Eula. Jinyan for physical damage, Beidou for the shield and other bonuses for superconduct. And of course, you've got Singchu for the freeze and shatter composition, which is going to be Eula and Singchu. Right, let's take a look at the Serenity pot here. The 20,000 luxury, not even luxury, fit for a king Serenity pot. We are 20,000 points which will give us the most adeptal energy 20,140 if we speak to tubby here who always goes Kono Aida trust rank I'm almost there to trust rank 7 when I get to trust rank 7 as Junius the boar runs past me we will be able to switch to the beach which is what I'm gonna do because I want to be on the beach this yes I know there's a lot of lions here guys but this is necessary this is necessary because all of these characters if we go into f7 here you see the load right when this hits a red amount, you can't put down anything else. Now, what you want to be putting down are four star items that don't take up a lot of load because you will not be able to put down anything else if you're capped out here and this becomes red. And the lions here are actually one of the better items, a top 10 item right now that you can put down for good adeptal energy to load ratio. Now, if we go inside here, you'll see a lot of animals. I have a little farm zoo going on. But what I will tell you now is animals are actually really bad for load. Yes, they give you 100 adeptal energy, but because they move around, they have a heavy, heavy toll on the load. So they're very, very expensive. But because I'm at 20,000 points now, it doesn't matter. My place is ugly as hell, by the way. But I'm going to show you through the rooms. This is a mess because I was panicking. I wanted to put everything down. This is a mess as well. And then we've got the Bitcoin farming room with all of these items on the wall as well. As you can see, the load is fully capped out and I have 4,110 adeptal energy solely from this room solely from this room and up here we have some more bitcoin farming we've got a wall here and i had to panic and put down a lot of chairs because i was under time constraints i will reorganize this room naturally guys but that is what my serenity pot looks like right now to get to 20,000 points in a week's time i will have way more leeway to switch everything up and if we look at my other island as well that I've unlocked, it looks ugly, guys, okay? This looks absolutely atrocious. I just wanted to put everything down and not think about it so that I could get to the 20,000 points. And yes, as you can see, this is one of the most horrific islands you have ever seen. But I'm an artiste. I'm an artiste. And if you look here, it looks freaking good. Guys, it looks good from the distance. Now, we don't have to go near it to find out how ugly it is, okay? From a distance, from far, far away, it looks absolutely mwah, bellissimo, all right? And I will be doing some house reviews as well, Serenity Teapot reviews. Now that more people are hitting 20,000 points, Trust Rank 7, I've been waiting until then to be able to do the Teapot reviews. So, Teapot reviews will be coming very, very soon. Now, let's exit this and make our way over to Ajdaha. Hopefully, we are going to be able to find an Ajdaha to absolutely demolish here as we are going to be looking for, of course, Dream Solvent. Now, last week, as you guys saw, I did not get any Dream Solvent at all. So, I don't know whether the drop rates got nerfed. I don't know whether they're rare in the first place, but just to make it clear, guys, it is not a common drop. If you, are ha if you have been getting them frequently, I'll tell you what, you've been getting lucky. You've been getting very, very, very lucky. Right, let's start this. Who am I going to go with? I am going to play with... You know what? We're going to sweat this out. We are going to go with Xiao. And we are also going to go with... Where's Bennett? We'll go with Bennett as well. Let's make this as sweaty as possible. We're going to give Bennett the level 90 Aquila Favonia. Okay, that looks good. Very, very, very sweaty. Hopefully, we can demolish him like this. I, I believe Xiao should be able to do plenty fine damage here. Let's begin. Seal Lord of Vishaps, aged a high. I am recording. If I wasn't recording, I would have been fuming, guys. I would have been very, very tilted. Okay, here we go. It is time, Morax. We settle this now. Okay, let's settle this now, Mr. Ajdaha. Sir, yes. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to do this. We're going to go up. We're going to go down. Up, down, up, down. Give me one more. Up, down, up, down. You love to see it. Boom, boom. We're going to go up and down again. We're going to keep going up and down. He's not taking damage, guys. 
He's not taking damage. Wait, he's not taking damage. Is he invulnerable right now? What? I've been cheesed. I've been cheesed. Because I've been scammed. I've been scammed out of damage. Wait, it actually caps. I don't believe that. That's actually so stinky. That is actually unbelievably st I can't believe that's just happened. I've actually legitimately been scammed here, guys. I'm not I'm not pleased with that. I am not I am not impressed, guys. I am not impressed. I am actually I'm upset. That's not cool. That's not cool. Are you even taking damage right now? Are you even taking damage right now? No, you're not. Why are you not taking damage? Okay, it's another cutscene. So apparently. I wonder if you can one-shot Azahar. Is it possible to one-shot him and skip the phases? Please let me know in the comment section if that's possible. I would like to know. Okay, he's going to go down here into the tail form. Right, we're going to ult here. Boom. Okay, we're going to do this. I probably should have done that first. We're going to go into this. And can we kill you as you are still a tree? Let's take a look. Boom. 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 Why are you not dead? Why are you not dead? You literally have no HP. Come up here, you ugly tadpole. Poke. Okay. More axe. Let's see if we're going to get a good drop. Boom. Dream solvent, please. Hey, dream solvent. Nice. You love to see it. We only got two artifacts. Two artifacts, two drops here. But I'll take it. That's a stinky flower. That hurts my soul. Crit rate gladiator's helmet really hurts my soul. But we got the dream solvent. We got what we were coming for. Let's head on over to the child boss fight, which we're also going to absolutely demolish as well. I am not looking for friendship EXP anymore, guys. I'm done with all of that stuff. Friendship EXP I can farm doing the pale flame domain because that domain, guys, is absolutely atrocious. That domain actually stinks. And that artifact set, the middle of set, is actually not good for Zhongli unless you have, for example, a Constellation 1 Zhongli and you like playing around his elemental skill, which I personally do like doing. But, for example, the way that artifact set works and why it's not actually that good is you put down the pillar, for example, right? And the enemy has to be within this range of this small confinement every single time. So unless you're playing with the Traveler as well and you have the full dungeon fully resonating here, it's really not worth it. Like, it's a trap. Like, that artifact set is actually a trap Simply because it's so hard to get permanent resonation like that. 20k damage though. Mind you, that's a lot of damage. If you're not procking any of the ticks with Zhongli and the enemies aren't getting hit by it, your middle of set is pretty much useless other than the HP bonus. So I personally don't think that set is worth it. The application, and this is why I've always said, guys, ignore the maths, all right? You need to do the eye test and you need to, need to understand the application because if you're not understanding the application... You're going to have your characters with all these sets and in your mind. You're going to be like, oh, this is excellent. This is so good. But the reality is they're not gaining anything from these artifact sets because people have debated you into saying, oh, yeah, mathematically speaking, this is the best. In theory, it's the best. But the reality is people don't know how to use the application. And if you're not using the application, you're not getting anything from your artifact set or you're not doing the reactions, right? Blah, 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 blah. As we get another dream solvent. You love to see it. And we've got the two drops we're looking for. Shadow of the Warrior and Task of Monoceros with Gladiators. Boom. Gabarje. Gladiators Gabarje. Right, next up we've got Andreas. Or we have Devalin as well. Now, for those of you also wondering, from the free-to-play adventure which is a new series that I've been doing on my channel. If I will be doing the free-to-play adventure on this channel for Genshin Mondays, I've decided to split it up because right now this video is already very long. 13 and a half minutes, maybe 14 minutes now. This video is quite long and I don't want the video to be uber, uber, uber long. I just want it to be, you know, around 20 minutes long for Genshin Monday at most. And if it goes past that, it's a little bit too much. And it's also taking away content from the stream because all of this stuff that I'm doing right now, I do it off stream and I do it for YouTube. It's YouTube exclusive content as well and obviously the na account you know i want to make sure all that progression is on twitch there's a record of it somewhere somewhere and all the highlights and all of that good stuff will be on the youtube channel in the f2p adventure i did unlock andreas and also devalin yesterday it took me over six hours to find all of that stuff get all the quests done and it was a very very unhappy time for me right let's change this up and we are going to go with 
Who do I want to go? We'll go with Dillock and we'll go with Bennett as well. So double pyro. No reactions here. Let's see how fast we can cut this down. Andrew's Dominator of Wolves. Ready to test your skills. Traveler. Today's not going to be a sad day, guys, because we have already obtained two Dream Solvent, which is a bit of a dub. Boom. We'll put that down. Boom. We'll put that down. Boom. We'll put that down. Boom. Oh, what a... Oh, that's a flop. That's a flop and a half. That's a flop and a half. That's actually a flop and a half. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. That's that's sad. That's sad. He's moved away. Okay, that's fine. Put that down. And we will hit him here. Boom. Okay. Can I get one extra hit in? Ah, oh, so close. So close. Okay, we'll put this down here. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Is he going to jump on me here? Oh, I missed. I missed. Oh, guys, I missed. That could have been such a cool finish. I missed. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Boom. Boom. One, two, three, four. Boom. Three, five. Boom. 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 And then finito. Goodbye. 35k damage. I don't mind if I do. Geo Traveler hitting like a truck. Dream Solver again, please. Ooh, we got one of each. That's not good. Ah, oh, no Dream Solvent. We do get one of each. Four Legendary Drop. No Prototype, though. And last but not least, we have also got the most enticing content in the game. Confront Devalin, Storm Terror. So hopefully, again, this is going to be a dub. I do want Devalin's Plumes. I need a bit more crowns before I crown Diluc. And I think here, all we gotta do is we'll put in another Cryo character here. We'll put in Kaya here. Alongside Ganyu. So we'll put Kaya in here. And we'll put Ganyu in here. And this should be very, very straightforward. And we should be able to clap the Valen's cheeks very early on. So we'll do this. Okay, we'll do this. We ha we're on the ready here. Boom. Okay, we got the hit off. Boom. Boom. Oh, I missed. Okay, boom. Excellent. I'm going to start like this. And we're going to look up. Boom. Boom. Is this not the best content you've ever seen, guys? Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. And we're done. Okay, there you go. There's Devalin. That used to be the hardest boss in the game at one point in the game. Can we get ourselves Devalin's Plume or Dream Solvent, please? Four Legendary Drops. Oh, it's... If only it had a tackle crit rate. Stinky. Devalin's Side Dream Solvent. Yes, let's go. Okay, three Dream Solvent today. And also a chunk there. I would call that overall a W. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. That's basically everything I wanted to cover. Apologies for the Eula rant at the beginning of the video. But it is something I've received so many times where people are not thinking for themselves. And they're waiting for a YouTuber to tell them what to get. You don't want to play as a sheep, guys. Think for yourselves. Think what is going to make you have a good time on the game. And that is where you want to go with. As long as you're having a good time on the game, that is the main thing. As I hit Battle Pass level 50 as well. We've completed it all. Boom, boom, boom. What do I want here? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with gold. And yeah, we've taken gold there. So remember, guys... It's a game. As long as you're having fun, you're doing the right thing. If you are worried about your characters not doing enough damage, I can assure you it's not the character. It's because your characters have not been built up with artifacts that are cracked. And to get artifacts that are cracked, you might have to refill maybe once a day, or you just have to be really patient. And of course, you want to have good weapons as well. Weapons and artifacts are what make characters strong. It's not necessarily the character themselves, unless they're, for example, a crowd control or supportish character with kits like Ganyu, Zhongli, or Venti. DPS characters are always going to be cycled through and they're going to be interchangeable. So you should always play with characters you enjoy and you have fun with. 
that is the ultimate message of today's Genshin Monday. I hope you guys did enjoy the video and have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye-bye.